One of the things I've always been fascinated by is engineering innovation. And steam is a perfect example of that. It helped us in the industrial revolution. And now today on the USS Carl Vinson, we're using it to catapult F-18s off a of flight deck. And through all that, the basic properties of steam, they've stayed the same. When water is heated into steam, it expands in volume over a thousand times. It's a law of physics that engineers first mastered in the 18th century when they used it to create the piston engine. Over 300 years later, Nimitz engineers are using the same principle on the Carl Vinson. The system that runs it is deep below decks. The start of our steam system all starts right here. Just beneath us is the power plant, and all that steam comes up to this giant duct, and it's actually fed through into our steam fill room right in here, where we've got three control valves to keep that system pressurized at just the right amount. Now, believe it or not, there's three other rooms just like this. What you see here, this is only for catapult number two. The steam for each catapult is stored in two giant cylinders and pistons, each about as long as a football field. The pistons are connected to the catapult shuttle on deck. To launch a plane, the pressure is suddenly released, driving the piston and catapult forward at 150 miles per hour. There are actually four catapults on board, each has its own engine room and dedicated crew above and below the flight deck. Hey, stand by real quick. Hey, Truman. Hey, can you turn on the throttle tension? What you got? You got five zero? Copy. Go ahead and need a backup, bro. When they get the signal, they fill these pipes with steam and bring it to pressure, arming the catapult. Then they wait for the signal that will shift a 35-ton fighter from standstill to 150 miles an hour in just two and a half seconds. It's a system that leaves no room for error, which is why it gets tested twice a day, every day. In just a few minutes, I'm gonna be able to witness a no load from the catapult. It's basically when they test the catapult before any day they're doing operations with no load on it. This thing's gonna fly by us at about 150 miles an hour and I get to be two feet away. Pilots' lives depend on this engineering working perfectly, which is why crew go through this routine so carefully. So we're loading up right now. We're bringing back the catapult. This is a safety line, a foul line. Everyone's got to make sure that they're standing behind it and that we're going to launch this all the way down. Now that was some serious engineering. 